so guys i'm back with another travel vlog we are at the air france lounge i have access to all the lounges through priority pass through my credit card this is by far one of the nicest lounges i've been to they had hot food lots of it they had a salad bar they had some fruit they even had a self-serve bar where you could get yourself your own wine as well as make yourself a cocktail if you wanted to it was extremely nice they had beds they had showers here we are boarding our flight i am with my little brother who is on spring break and we are going on a euro tour we're going to a couple of places in europe and i'm super excited we're taking a night flight from jfk our first stop is paris so we did fly air france the service was great but the seats were very very small so on this transatlantic journey it was really really uncomfortable but nonetheless we made it we landed at about 8 a.m here we are landed in paris so we made it to paris um that's all i gotta say that's really all i have right now we're on our way to the hotel it's like uh noon it's a few minutes before noon and we have a lot planned for today we're pretty tired so we'll see how it goes all right guys we checked into our hotel room usually i would do a room tour but this room is so little that there's not really much to see that's the room that's the room and this is the bathroom i'm in the bathroom there's a nice little window not much of a view but it's cool we move we're not here to be in the room we're about to leave we're gonna try to go see the eiffel tower we're not that far from it but we have a reservation at palace of versailles at four and it's already like 1 30 so i don't really know if we're gonna try to go to the eiffel tower but we'll see we'll check back in we're at this really cute cafe i got this coffee that's delicious and the lighting in here is bomb because there's like windows i don't want to get him in there there's like windows all around we're about to go to palace of versailles it's 2 46 p.m but it's 8 a.m back home so y'all already know how i feel about that i'm tired but this is bringing me back and we'll we'll make it work <laughs> so far so good everybody here is so nice i say everybody now we met one person which was our server he was really really nice and super helpful so we'll talk soon guys so after we left the cafe we walked to this roundabout to catch an uber to the palace of versailles which was incredible this is when we first arrived to the palace of versailles we're just looking at the open plaza this is as we're walking up you can see the gold gates it was honestly spectacular here's the golden gates a little bit closer and i'm just going to insert a few clips of some of the things that we saw there really are not even words it was so beautiful
after we left the Palace of Versailles, we headed over to the Eiffel Tower, which was completely breathtaking. I don't know if I mentioned or not, but this was my first time in Paris. So I just was completely blown away. Watching the sunset over the Seine River was gorgeous. My brother and I then went to this nearby restaurant to grab dinner. Uh, we were seated right beside a window and right beyond that walkway is the Eiffel Tower. Um, here's the menu, didn't know what it said, but got something anyways. And then as soon as we walked out of dinner, look what we saw. I screamed when I saw this most beautiful thing. So gorgeous. So after the Eiffel Tower, we headed over to Moulin Rouge for which we had tickets for. We had a lot packed into our first day, but that's because we were only in Paris for three days. This is Moulin Rouge when we entered into the theater. Um, we were not allowed to take videos during the actual performance because many of the performers were half dressed, but this show was 10 out of 10. Amazing experience, we really enjoyed it. Right outside, they had a crepe stand. These crepes were delicious. Good morning, here we are, day two in Paris. We are going to the Louvre today. We're about to go to a cafe, get some croissants and breakfast, and then we're gonna head to the Louvre. It's freezing in Paris. I have on layers and layers and layers. You just don't even know how many clothes I have on under here, but we move. Talk soon. So after grabbing breakfast, we did head over to the Louvre. This is right outside of the museum where they have like this mirror wall that was really great for selfies. Um, we're kind of just admiring the area. Very, very overwhelming. There's so much to see. Um, here is the pyramid that you actually enter into the museum through. There's the line. Thankfully, we did get skipped the line passes. This is the lobby. Oh my goodness. We didn't even know where to start. Thankfully, they had maps. And so we got a map and we started our journey through the Louvre. I'm going to be honest with you, even after being in this spectacular place for over four hours, we still didn't see even half of it. You would literally need days to go through this museum and make sure you wear good walking shoes because I closed all of my rings on my Apple Watch for sure. We stopped for a quick snack and water break. We were severely dehydrated and very hungry after so much walking, but then we continued on our journey. Here's the lady we all have been waiting for. Um, she was pretty small, but beautiful. I got my selfie with Mona. There we are. After a very, very long day at the Louvre, we went and walked to a nearby restaurant just to grab dinner. Uh, we didn't have reservations anywhere, so it wasn't anywhere super fancy or super special, but it was a very, very nice restaurant. The food was pretty good until a mouse ran across my foot. I was getting the true ratatouille experience in Paris, um, but we did have a good meal. This is the front of the restaurant where they moved us after the mouse ran across our foot. <laughs> good morning. We're getting on the Metro. You know the New York City and me is not gonna allow me to go to a big city and not ride the train. So I hear it's way better than the New York City subway. I hear that it's super clean. I hear that it is all of those things. So we gotta go this way. Oh, look, the trash is in the trash. Huh? The trash is in the trash can. <laughs> all right, so I'll report back and let y'all know how it was. Bye. So as much as I love New York City, I do have to say my subway experience was much better in Paris. It was much cleaner. It was much more efficient. It was just overall better. 
So this is our third and last day in Paris. We pretty much just spent the day exploring, walking around, getting lost in the city, just seeing all that the city has to offer. We did actually accidentally stumble upon Luxembourg Palace. This was the garden right outside of Luxembourg Palace. Um, this is a picture of the front of Luxembourg Palace. It was pretty grand. This is Angelina, which does have the best hot chocolate I've ever had in my entire life. If you are in Paris, you should definitely go. After hot chocolate, we did a little bit of thrifting and actually stumbled across this adorable record store. I was losing my mind. I should have bought one. I have immense regret that I didn't. But of course, I started immediately picking up the Drake records. This was a really dope experience. And lastly, we ended our night at this restaurant called Le Atlas. They have the best French onion soup I've ever had in my life. Definitely go there. So all in all, my brother and I really enjoyed Paris. I'm really glad that I got to experience this with him. Tune into my next video to continue following our Euro tour. We did go to Italy next, starting with Milan. I will link that above. Thanks for watching.